One of my friends, Jitender, who is working as a scientist in DRDO, told me this story about a thirsty crow. No, not that thirsty crow which you have heard. This crow came in the 7th or 8th generation of that thirsty crow that you have read in your school books. While on a flight, this crow got hurt and he fell down. Now down there was a tank and within the tank there was a boat and lucky for him, the boat was filled with coins. That's a good fortune that you fall into some trouble but you fall into a place which is full of money. This crow was educated. He had heard those stories about his great great grandfather and how he put the pebbles in the water to lift up the level so that he quench his thirst. This crow being intelligent, having heard those stories, he did not run after money but he took one coin each and he put it in the tank to raise the level of the water so that he can quench his thirst. We want to see that when this crow puts coin in the tank, the water level in the tank, will it go up so that he is able to drink water or is it the other way around? This is the thirsty crow, his beak and this crow will take one coin at a time and put it in the water tank expecting that the water level in the tank will come up and he is able to drink water. Now let's mark the water level in the tank where it is. The water level in the tank is up to this level. The thirsty crow drops a coin at a time expecting the water level in the tank to come up. The beak of the thirsty crow drops a coin. The beak of the thirsty crow drops a coin. Remember the crow is hurt so he is not able to pick up the coin so well. Let's see the level of water in the tank. The crow expected the water level in the tank to come up so that he is able to drink that water. Let's see the water level. Now see the water level has come up to this point. This is the earlier point. This is the level now. The water level has dropped down by this much. So we see one thing. This crow was educated. This crow had heard the stories of his great grandfather, how he managed to drink water. This crow was not running after money. He was willing to drop the coins into the tank. But this crow did not study physics properly. He need to learn how to apply the concept and what will happen. Take your time. Explain this phenomena. I will post the link to that page where we have discussed this phenomena in detail. Till that time, enjoy thinking about it, discussing it.